What's up YouTube? We are in Sundby Bay outside Stockholm and today we're doing things that you can do as a dog owner in Stockholm. Dogs are permitted on all forms of public transportation in Stockholm. Boats, buses, trains, everything goes. Right now we're on the bus on our way to Hagefarken, which is a really big, very beautiful park, very close to the city center. It has a big lake, um, lots of trees. It's a very beautiful place to bring your dog. This gate here marks the entrance to, uh, or actually one of the entrances to Hagepaiken. As you can see, most of the leaves are down by now because it's late fall, but I think it's gonna be pretty nice anyway. This beautiful place is called the Temple of the Echo, and it used to be an outdoors dining hall of sorts for King Gustav III. Echo! You're free to explore all corners of the park, not just the walkways and the roads. And you're also free, like in most of Stockholm, to keep your dog off leash. The only rule you need to follow is that your dog doesn't bother other people or dogs, and that you're always in control. Kiba gets to be off leash a lot of the time. <laughs> Now we are close to Vasaparken, which is another big park in central Stockholm. And we are on our way to a place called Dog Bakery. It's been only, it's, it's only been open for maybe uh, a month and a half, six weeks. So I'm really excited to see what they have in, in the store. Maybe have a cup of coffee and some treats for Kiba. Everything in here is made with natural ingredients that are good for your dogs. And today's main course is um, a hamburger. Then. good. And while your dog is having food, you can enjoy a coffee or, a, in this case, a pagacino. Are you re ready for your dessert? Another really nice thing about this place is that dog owners bring their dogs here and let them loose in the shop so dogs and people get a good chance to sort of socialize in a natural way. It's really nice. Hello fint Denise. Hey då. Hello. Hello Denise. Hello. That was awesome. Welcome to Drottninggatan. Drottninggatan is one of the most central and popular streets in Stockholm. It goes all the way to Gamla Stan, Old Town, in the back, and you will find lots of dog-friendly cafes, restaurants and shops on this street. We have arrived at our hotel, which is called Downtown Camper by Scandic. It's 
Well, I live in Stockholm, so I don't normally stay in hotels, but when I do, I like this place because the food is great. The rooms are big, the rooms are super nice, as you will see. Plus, you can bring your dog. And they have an awesome spa and a gym. One hour later. So we're outside a place called Himmelske Hunda, which translates directly to Heavenly Dogs. It's in the eastern city center called Östermalm. I have really high expectations for this place, so let's go inside and check it out. This place is crazy. Uh, there's like 30 people in here and maybe 10 dogs running around freely on the floor. Everyone's getting along. It's really cool. Uh, so this place has fairly simple food, uh, like cafe type food, but they also have some traditional um, meals or plates. This is uh, bratwurst, that's actually German food, but rustic, um, but delicious, so it's nice. And also they have a separate menu for dogs. So they have lots of treats, even uh, set plates for dogs, so your dog can have their favorite dish in the same restaurant as you. Just ordered dinner for Kiba in the form of Sally's big dish. So this is different kinds of sausages, blood sausage, cheese. Let's see if he likes it. Sick fin. good. at the pub, English pub, Churchill Arms, where you can bring your dog and you can have some treats for your dog, like bones and stuff like that. You can enjoy a nice beer, not for minors, adults only. mig och det var därför jag var okej okay, nu jävlar jag, blir, jag, jag älskar sånt det vet du Gött. Nej, sen, ska, sen ska jag inte ta mig kommando och, 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 och bryta dina regler men jag är, det är helt jag, jag, jag blir så glad jag tycker att han är fantastisk tack snälla för jag kramar Kiba säg hej oj hej ja säg hej säg hej hälsa pros and cons of having a insta famous dog <laughs> i'm thinking we should probably go to bed because i'm really tired and tomorrow morning uh we're going to gamla stan which is the old quarters the so-called old town of stockholm which is a really popular attraction among tourists so let's get some well-earned rest and see what tomorrow brings good night Tomorrow for sure. Good morning, my good friend. Are you ready to go down and have some breakfast? Yes. What about you? Are you ready to hit the streets today? Yes. Let's grab some food. And then we're going to Gamla Stan. We are 
are in Old Town in Stockholm. It's the oldest part of the city, I think. It has a ton of history that I don't know. So don't take my word for it. But it's a beautiful place. Very crowded in the weekends. Not too many people on weekdays. So come in the early morning during the week. Only for Helsa? Oh, they okay. submitting your questions on what to do in Stockholm with a dog. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want us to make a part two, leave a comment. And uh, as always, remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned, see you in the next video. Peace.